Born and raised in the Philippines, Jam and Eileen Tan have seen firsthand the work CBN is doing there. Showing Jesus' love, not just through words or like sermons, but actually like in tangible ways to actually ease their um, suffering and improve their lives. So when the couple moved to the U.S. in 2001, they knew CBN was a ministry they wanted to support. In addition to tithing at church, the Tans joined the 700 Club, pledging $40 a month. Seeing CBN helping out people in need, um, it inspired Eileen and myself because it's not just a ministry of building churches and spreading the word, it's also a ministry of helping people out. The Tans used Eileen's salary as a nurse to live on, and Jim's salary was set aside for savings. They always made tithing a priority before paying any bills and increased their giving to CBN over the years. All our resources are from God. We are just stewards of it. Then in 2016, Jim was laid off from his job. With their older daughter, Pia, starting college in two years, the Tans wondered what they should do. We were really banking on that income for her college expense. So worried was probably an understatement. During that time, Eileen says God prompted her to do something unusual with their tithe. I was doing the budgeting one night and, of course, silently whining to the Lord, like, why is this happening? And the Lord impressed upon my heart, go to 11%. Try to increase 1% every year until I tell you to stop. It kind of like surprised me though when she said that she was going to increase it. But I trust my wife. She has a good judgment on that. So the Tans increase their giving by 1%. There's just blessings that come in, you know. A raise, you know, or I move up a tier in my nursing. So I just feel like it was the Lord that carried us through that. Jim found temporary work as Eileen was offered better and better positions. They obeyed God and increased their giving by 1% each year, as well as increasing their CBN club level over the years. To a normal layman, it would be illogical because your income is smaller, it won't bother you. Actually, you'd just be surprised by the blessing that you get afterwards. After seven years, the Lord told them they no longer needed to add 1% to their giving. The tan saw God provide. In fact, their daughter was able to graduate from UCLA without any student debt. I credit that to God's faithfulness, you know. If you just obey, then He's faithful to just see you through. Jim was able to take early retirement. As 2,500 Club members, the Tans enjoy seeing the work their gifts are doing around the world, especially in Israel. We strongly support Israel to be able to channel also the resources that have been given to us back to God and then also to Israel. We're happy with that, super happy with that. And seeing CBN Israel reach out to the Jewish people is very important to us and it makes us happy. By trusting God with their finances over the years, Jim and Eileen have seen God's blessing over them. Now their younger daughter is headed to college and the Tans have no concerns about paying for her education. So unlike the time when Pia left for UCLA where we was, were like, okay, where are we gonna get the money? And this time the Lord has provided for her tuition already. They encourage everyone to step out in faith and see how God will provide. For those that are like, hesitant about giving or like worried I was there I know how it feels just just obey and take that leap of faith it may not make sense but you just have to learn to trust the Lord and you will be blessed